Just a bit of uh, behind the scenes today. We're going to be getting uh, the Catfish Killer reviewed by Jono from Ross Reviews. Just driving down to find a, uh, a suitable spot to um, get some filming done. Jono is following us in no, the back. No entry buses accepted. Oh well. Oh well. Get some footage done here, Shawno. Nice yeah, background. Nice Brisbane background. Yeah. yeah. Preparing to film. The sleeper. The yeah. sleeper. taking some panoramas. It could go either of two ways. It could Warning: look, Twenty-four it, hour surveillance cameras recording. It could look better on 4K, or it could look shit. Do not stop authorized vehicles only. Authorized use accepted. All right, it's authorized use, isn't it? Who authorized me? <laughs> Uh, that's what I was saying, like we're... You can't leave his we're, post. So. We're, we're, taking, <laughs> exactly. we're taking photos. What's he going to do, call me in for taking photos of my car? Yeah. Nah. I was like, I didn't cross two solid yellow lines and a solid double white in front of a police officer. Not at all, sir. You just have plate, steady hand, and then you do it on. We're filming out here, outside the cruise terminal in Brisbane, because... Uh, Operation Talisman Savers on, so hence we're not allowed anywhere near it, especially when NATO warships are in town. Yeah. Damn. Okay. So, well, that's the only illegal bit at the moment because we haven't done an airbox. Yeah. Mm. Is you got to have it covered or something, isn't it? It's got to be enclosed. Yeah. 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 So the plan yeah, is that's, yeah. that's to be relocated, and we're going to bring the pipe through and drill it down through here. The box there. No, no, we're going to drop the pod behind. Oh, the under the yep. Yeah. But other than that, it's a... And that blower's... That's a factory blower. Factory. It's just been rebuilt, and we've machined this down to be able to clamp this tensioner on to give me... Um, more some some, some type, type of grip. Yeah, right. <laughs> because uh, we're getting belt slip because we're spinning too fast. Yeah. So, so the latest mods to go from the 350 to the 382 was uh, eight rib harmonic balancer, the rebuilt blower with... Um, New, new needle bearing, snout bearings, the tensioner, and an eight rib belt, a 2.42 inch pulley instead of a 2.55 inch pulley, and the throttle body's gone from a 69 mil standard to an 85 mil LS13 bolt with an 85 mil intake. Looks way beefier. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we uh, the firewall had a bit of massage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but oh, sick. technically, this is. Somebody's phone's going. <laughs> Make wait. Um, that is the uh, factory supercharger on the factory engine, factory fuel rails. And is this one intercool? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yes. It's a watered air intercooler. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're just taking some photos. <laughs> basically a baby radiator inside a thermal composition. Yeah, right. So, yeah, it's not that big. No, mm. no. Well, the hole under the blower is only about this big. So that's yeah. all it needs to pass through. Yeah. So there's a water pump behind this headlight that pumps water through a front mount. Yeah, right. They go up through this pipe, and then flows through the little baby radiator, comes out this pipe and goes back into my water reservoir. So it's about 10 litres of water. So the, the aim is we're going to try to fit a... Uh, Rock the uh, the standard engine cover back on. Standard engine cover back yeah. on. Yeah. And try to three D. Make, make it totally still. And I'm gonna, I've already catted up a three D um, print of a um, four inch top for the standard airbox. Yeah, if yeah. we can standard airbox. So yeah, because that would be sweet if it was just underneath, and then yeah, you just put them. This is like a dummy airbox. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then this we can rejig, and I'll put something else somewhere, and then put the engine cover over. So the only from the front, you'll see this tensioner. And you'll see the little pulley. And yeah, the, that would be the only thing that sticks out yep. extra. Eh? Mm. Yep. So the idea is, um, yeah, grab So what, what are you saying? Oh, I'm keen to get into it. Yeah, nearly 400 horsepower at the wheel. It's pretty healthy. Mm. Not bad. My first time with an intercooled yeah. modified L67. Right. And we've had, yeah. We didn't think a, lot, a lot of people that follow the channel or into the Oz cars, like yeah. all swear by the L They do really like the L67, it seems. So. Well, it's cheap. 
you try to find a V8 now, it's like three, yeah. three grand, four grand. Well, you can find these for about a thousand bucks. So if and, you're and a Turbo Barra as well is super expensive. Yeah, just done a uh, little bit of filming. Now setting up some cameras. I get to drive the Cupra. better than standard like this is this is what everybody comments about yeah when you get a proper one done yeah and yeah like zero to 100 impressive uh just that instant acceleration man it's it's like in the seat like i was comparing it to like an ev almost like yeah. it's like man it is really linear torque that's... yeah and, it, and it's still got enough to hold you there so yeah. like all right if you guys got third gear uh, yeah, long enough straight and got third gear. He, he got a good one. You did have one pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think I let it off just I after think you were in, the third. I think you were in third yeah. for a bit at a yeah. small point because we were uh, we were moving. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, good. What you what was your zero to hundred time yet? You know. And the good one when we the last one we did. Yeah. Was five point seven spinning on the launch because I uh, can't get traction. You won't get traction. No, it, it, it's literally yeah, like just trying to get that takeoff. Is we were so... trying to get the roll, and that was with traction control on yeah. every run. Maybe, maybe with a hot mix and some some sticky tires. Some yeah. sticky these, are, these are street sixteens on a, a shitty old road. Five yeah. five seven's not bad though. On, that's impressive uh, on this surface yeah like yeah. that's pretty good if i say you know a lot of cars i'll get modified mm. if they run at mid five in the you know 400 plus horsepower it, yeah that's pretty good because it is down to traction exactly like and uh this was definitely struggling for it off the line so <laughs> five seven is a good run if i tried to do it without the traction button it would have just sat there and smoked i um there's a lot of traffic today isn't there yeah. unfortunately i think the last time i was here it was a weekend and that's why it was a lot quieter from my memory. Like yeah. I told him to come down this road because I remembered where I was. Exactly. So, but, uh, We're just going to do a couple of flybys. So. A couple of flybys on this camera. Yep. Yeah. Do you want um, to take that one now? And Yeah, so I'm yeah. going to go. Yeah. John's going to stay here with his camera and yeah, he's going to get with some you flybys and... with a good one. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, so you're going to come with me on the flyby? No, I'll stay, with, I'll stay out here. Alright, yeah. sweet. Alright, sounds good. Australia post is really bad. Well, yeah, but it's to the wrong address. Like, but that was. Uh, send the uh, send the drone up for some uh, some nice footage. Yes. Hopefully, we'll get a break in these uh, this traffic because I've done it once here before. So, nice so you're saying the DJI senses how close you're to an airport and won't let you go up? Yes. Yeah. If you're too close to a restricted area, you can't fly. Yeah. Yeah. It's in like it's built in. Which is, I think that's pretty cool. So for drone drone owners. You Mm. You don't get screwed by your drone. Yeah. Yeah, you can get to, there's like a yellow zone, which is like, there's red, which is like, you cannot take it off the ground. And then there's yellow, which will be so high in the vicinity. But you can, you sign like a waiver saying, I know I'm not going on that side. And yeah. so you are, but, but we think we should be far enough away. Oh, uh, we're far away here. I've, I've, I, I, I've flown it here before. So we should be fine. Just don't hit the power lines above. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See, I would crash it. I'm no good at this shit. Well, we're all 
little done filming. Another day done. Another review. Yeah. Coming soon. And uh, should be. Uh, someone outside of the L67 world reviewing an L67. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I gotta say, yeah, this one's very well done. So yeah. thank you. Um, yeah, that low torque yeah. is no joke in this thing. So once we get. The Magnaro back on the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll 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 be in touch. Have to see that thing one done. time, hey. Yeah. I couldn't well, even imagine it to be honest. Now. Well, uh, we'll try somewhere a bit more um, quiet. Quiet. Yeah, yeah, we thought this would be quiet, but uh, Sundays maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it for a weekend, and we yeah. might have to find a bit, a bit longer stretch of road. <laughs> no worries. Absolutely. All right, All right guys. Um, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. subscribe. Go check out John's channel. Check out John's Ross channel, Ross, Ross, at Ross Reviews. Guys. Awesome, awesome car. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jono. Cheers. All right. All right. See you guys. Go, you little creeper. Go. <laughs> now that's a good steak burger. It's a piece of cow in there. <laughs>